Hey smokers, Jiraga one here. It's been a minute. Um, it's been a little while since I uploaded a video. Uh, in the last video, I did say that uh, it was going to be a little while before the next one, and the reason for that is that it's actually there was actually two videos that I was working on since then, and one of them is currently in the depths of script writing, which uh, I'm not good at, and it takes me forever, and I procrastinate a lot. And the other one was fully filmed and complete. It was actually this one. But uh, the footage didn't go in the right direction that I wanted. And I know that didn't stop me from editing before, but uh, it did this time. Now, I didn't plan on remaking the video or reshooting it. I was pretty much considering abandoning the concept altogether and seeing if I could get the scripted video done in time. And it looks like that could be possibly a couple months out at this point. So today I'm going to be installing Windows 2000 on an SSD. Stop me if you've already seen this. <laughs> We're going to be using the same Gateway 200 Arc that was used in that 2014 video which kind of kicked off this style of video. And because a few people had been clamoring for it and for old time's sake I'm using the old camcorder as well and some, you know, somewhat unfavorable lighting conditions as well. Now, to be very accurate, I didn't use this camcorder in that video back in 2014. I was actually using a webcam then, a 1080p webcam, and uh, that's what was going on there. Now, since the video has already been shot and the SSD has already been installed, you're probably seeing some footage now of me doing that, installing the SSD. And in that footage, I had successfully installed Windows 2000, gotten all the drivers up and running, but even through everything, I didn't do a side-by-side -side speed comparison between the original video, which was filmed in real time, you could see exactly how long it took for Windows 2000 to boot up, versus uh, how long it takes this machine to boot up. And this, and I never actually got a chance to test it before I decided to erase Windows 2000 and try to install Lubuntu, which is still installed on this. Now to keep this video relatively simple, that's pretty much all we're going to do. Is we're going to install Windows 2000, get everything running exactly how it was six years ago, and test the boot up speed of the machine, and that's pretty much all we're going to do. Dude, what is going on? Why is it making these noises? Oh my god, is that the fan? Sink finally dying. Oh my god, it is the fan. It's fucking choking because it's not used to running like Lubuntu 18, I think this is. I don't I don't even remember, to be perfectly honest. Wow, yeah, that is uh that's kinda scary. I was actually um I was actually worried this computer wasn't gonna make it through the last one. And now that we're on this one, maybe I just wasn't noticing it. God damn. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's just shut this down and reboot it in the BIOS and see if it'll maybe cool down a little bit. Or is it just is it gonna? Okay. Well, it stopped. I guess that was it. So yeah, I mean, uh, a still supported Linux can run on this like 2004 laptop. And you can watch YouTube, except it's kind of ass, and uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. I, I think I think there's always been this desire in me to just oh throw Lubuntu on literally anything, and you'll have a, a snappy modern machine that you can use um, for cheap, and you know it doesn't take much. And like yeah, you can, but I mean you're not gonna enjoy it at all. It's gonna be terrible. Um, you might click around a couple times and make a claim, and I've probably done that, saying, man, this is fast, it's snappy, it's good. Oh yeah, I opened uh, the terminal fast, it's good, you know, whatever. But in from day-to-day -day usage, all those little wait periods are going to add up quick. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to take my original Windows 2000 disk, and uh, we're going to 
use it to install Windows 2000. Because right now this is uh, this is putting a tremendous strain. Let's see if it does it again. Put a tremendous strain on this here. Now the reason why I installed Ubuntu was to see oh a game I was trying to get running on Windows 2000 wasn't working. So would I have a better chance of installing the latest Linux and then um, installing Wine and trying to get stuff working? And that actually did work. I did actually get uh, uh, I did get uh, 30 flights of loving to work, but uh, that would have worked had I just upgraded to Windows XP. Um, and then I totally forgot to use kernel X to see if I could get any of the extensions working or something um, in Windows 2000, although I don't know if kernel X actually works for Windows 2000. So um, I haven't done some heavy research there, and it's been a while since I've kind of messed around with this stuff. I think the last time I used kernel X was probably my Minecraft video, and that was like four years ago, I think. So, I mean, it's been a little bit... And uh, the discs won't eject, so... Oh. COD 4. Yeah, like, that's really going to work. We also have the 200 arc drivers, which we'll use to actually get Windows 2000 into not crap mode. But this does mean we are going to erase Linux. And uh, you can also see I tried to install Steam here a couple times. Um, Proton won't work because it was using a 32-bit version of... Uh, 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 Ubuntu here. Both of the one of these is actually the um, the the Linux Steam, and the other one is the the Wine Windows Steam, and both of them crash after trying to log in. So, oh well. So we're gonna take this and install it. Okay, so here's the good old. Oh my God, what's wrong with my brain? Oh my God, did I run out of time? I ran out of time. God damn it. Dude, these noises, man. It's never made these noises before. So we're back once again at another blue install Microsoft install screen. And as you can see, the autofocus is taking right over. This is what happens when we go back to the old camera. You know, the, the last video I did was on the floor. So that I could have it, you know, on the carpet like the good old days. It is tremendously uncomfortable <laughs> to constantly work on the floor like uh, yeah I'm just gonna do this on a table this time all right you know the drill fate okay so this is our um, Linux partition that's in there we're gonna we're gonna nuke that um, enter L okay so we've got it's a 60 gig SSD. There's no quick format option. Just gotta let it go. Shit. Uh. Okay, remember this. Hello, cutie pie. That's how I feel about the other video. Okay. Um, get more of that. And, uh, I keep forgetting to put that in there. And, uh, the usual shit. The usual shit. It's only been about 20 minutes or so, but we're already done. Well, at least with the installation portion. Yeah, it's gotta be like the reverberation on the table or something, because it's... It seems like it's 30 times louder than it normally is. Now, I almost got the... the footage I needed in the last video, but I got, I got carried away, things got messy talked about some topics that I really shouldn't have been talking about. 
I was rambling, and it was long, and uh, when I tried to edit it, it was painful like it usually is, but um, maybe we can be a little bit more concise with this and give uh, editing Ian a, a, an easier time. So we have our 200 arc drivers here. Uh, we're not actually done with the installation, there's more shit to do. Um, or wait, maybe you are. We'll see. Okay, so we are done. Okay. So as you can see, we have uh, none of the drivers installed. We don't have any audio drivers, none of the video drivers. Um, so luckily I got the disc here. And, like the button on the drive doesn't work anymore? Is that what's going on? Because this is a new development. Okay. Oh, it's so much easier to like open the the tray when it's not sitting in a cardboard box. <laughs> Head on to my computer here and all right. So we have a couple things here on Minecraft as well because I thought that was going to work somehow. Um, these are the two things that I used. This is the original folder that I made back then, and. Uh, this is the unofficial service pack 5 for Windows 2000. Now, I believe I mentioned both of these in passing. I pretty much just showed a before and after. Like, I got to about this point and then cut to with all the drivers already installed. So it really shows how my channels change and that back then I was willing to skip over all that driver locating and all that. And I think that's why, because I had to, like, Google every single one. Nowadays, I actually tried to find some BIOS update drivers, um and I could not find them on the internet. Like, I even went to archive, I dug everywhere, I couldn't find them. I think that uh, this folder might be the last place where these drivers may still exist. Don't quote me on that, I don't know. I used to host these in a uh, Dropbox folder uh, that was in the description of the old video, but because my Dropbox links got so much traffic, my Dropbox account is permanently banned from sharing any link um, in that fashion, so my, my Dropbox account is, is like permanently crippled. Uh, but I mean, that doesn't mean I can't use like a Google Drive link to kind of fix those. I've been really bad about upkeeping my descriptions and stuff, and people have probably been clamoring for years for me to fix the links so they can get the files they need, and I still haven't done it. And um, hopefully, I don't put that off much longer. But uh, keep keep poking me about it. I mean, I, I got the files; they're there. Okay, so first thing we want to do is uh, graphics and set up. Now this says Windows 2000 here. This might be specifically the Windows 2000 drivers. I don't know. It's probably just a jack of all trades one, or just the the NT drivers. Um, excuse me. Oh, we're already done. Let's give it a restart. You know, of all the tables that I've used... Ooh, that didn't sound good. Of all the tables that I've used to put computers on to film, this, this is like the most comfortable setup I've had so far. Like, back in 2018, I got this, like, nice table, but sitting at it was kind of awkward and there was so much junk on it. And now this table has, like, nothing on it, and all the junk is on that same other table. Oh, look how fucking beautiful this looks. It's always breathtaking. Every single time I see this, this, the proper, like, native resolution, the proper colors. Every time I see this, it doesn't matter how cynical or how um, down I might be at any one time or... Um, whatever how i feel like the world's gotten worse and everything everything piled up i can look at this and it can take me right back to the good old days uh when i was a kid messing around with like windows me you know just making games and uh you know it had all the drivers back then and you know you had this christmas you had high resolutions for so many years, I didn't I didn't have drivers for a lot of them to make like Windows 98 and stuff work, and I, I kept messing around with like having to reinstall it and reinstall it and reinstall. It. I had these crappy ass drivers and only had to deal with 16 colors, 
And uh, that, that was always depressing to me. But once you see this, once you found that sweet spot, with you get the right driver for the, your, your obscure computer that you have. That That's just so refreshing, and that just, like, it's wonderful. Also, it's not 3.59 p.m. The problem is, is that with the high resolution, you can't see stuff as well. And now I have to adjust the focus again. There's the autofocus. And some more A patterns. Audio. Now the audio doesn't actually work with the built-in speakers. So after you actually use this thing that I made like um, a lot of years ago, which basically takes the um, little plug thing here that I think plugged into like a wall power adapter, and it says DC in six volts, but I'm using the five volts from USB to power it, and um, this this is probably my this is probably my peak here when it comes to like. Um, electrical engineering, I think. I don't know. Uh, my crowning achievement here, and I think this is hopefully not coming off there. Uh, yeah, I haven't gotten really any better at uh, this sort of jury rigging stuff ever since. So I'm going to plug this in. You get a red light there. And then the other end is this, which is you know, just some old cable. I've actually used this multiple times. You may have uh, seen it in a couple of videos. And I just use that as my audio source because it works. It's just a quick way to, to get audio out of the computer. And in this case, it's the only way to get audio out of the computer because um, the speakers in this got kind of broke somehow when I was fucking around with it. I know I've commented about this before, but you know where it says there's like a low warning light? I For the low disk space, I want to actually see if that actually like lights up if you get close. It's like filling up your hard drive from installing this. It'll be like, oh no, warning, warning, better cancel the installation. I, I, I have yet to see that. I don't even know if there would be a war low warning light, but I imagine it would turn red. I, I don't know. That's speculation entirely. Now when we finally do the boot up test, oh yeah, because we totally just heard the Windows 2000 startup sound. What the crap. What the crap. Okay, well it's working. Mm. Oh god, that's not like ass. This thing's dying. Everything's dying. It's not great. It's kind of like weird distorted. It wasn't this bad like a couple weeks ago. Or months ago, or whenever. Fuck. Okay, now usually those are the only two drivers you need, because, you know, visually, auditory wise, um, the wireless internet, uh, oh yeah, we're probably gonna need to do that. But I'm not going to install the wireless. If I'm gonna do anything, it's probably gonna be, uh, the Ethernet only. Just because, you know, I'll just drag a cable in here, hook it up. I don't really want to mess around with the networking because I got kind of like a weird setup with my router. So I don't really want to mess, mess with this. What did it say? The Windows Management Instrumentation. Why wasn't this started? I, oh, now it's starting. I remember I did this last time. I don't know why. I'll try it again. 
And the other thing about the speaker is that it's not properly shielded and like it picks up signals. And I kept thinking when I'm hearing, I, I was just now hearing some kind of like grinding sound effects that I thought was, oh yeah, that's just the hard disk motor. But there is no hard disk or, or the arm movement or anything like that. There is no hard disk. That means it's picking up the data signals from the SSD. I guess I need to cleverly place this over where, oh, it's right there, over the SSD so that um, it picks it up. Wait, I've been doing this on battery power this whole time. This battery is 10 years old and I don't know how it's held up for 20 minutes. On the other hand, um, the, there is no battery for the 200 arc. I think I did get rid of that finally. It was this little terrible thing. Okay. You'd think that the graphics drivers would have more weird system crap to have to worry about, but the, ooh, the Ethernet drivers. Mm. What? Oh, hear that? It's purring. So it's like we have a mechanical hard disk after all. We can still hear kind of like sounds when it's loading. Well, that's cool. Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, why did I not move the speaker closer to the mic and instead I moved the mic closer to the speaker? It's because if this moves, it won't get the signal from the whatever noise the hard disk is making, I guess. So, right now we've sort of come to the conclusion, although there was a couple other things that I did in the video that I probably won't be doing this time. And that's just because I don't really want to mess with the hex editing of Firefox. Now, it's, it's supposed to patch some certain things that were bugs that I probably don't know about. Um, because I didn't, I never was a heavy user of Windows 2000 back in the day. The only time I really used Windows 2000 was at school. And it was on all the school computers. Um, and, you know, went on... Ah, okay. That was the sound of the optical drive motor, which we still need to actually keep running because this is where this stuff's getting installed from. Okay, whatever. of the registry. Seems like a lot of linear tasks there. Actually, I don't know where the signal bleed's coming from. Actually, hold on. It is matching the SSD. So we are hearing SSD noises. Wow. And it shows that not only is that LED accurate, but, yeah, we are listening to the SSD. And the, the other funny part about this is that the SSD is right here, and the plug's right here. So I'm thinking that the signal bleed is happening that way, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't have any, uh, I don't have a lot of uh, electronics knowledge or uh, knowledge of, like, the physics of that and how the bleed is happening and how this isn't shielded or where the where the fault is, whether it's my stuff or 200 arc sucking. I, I'm, I'm sort of used to these sound effects because this computer has always made these sounds. Me, me and this laptop go way back. Uh, I used to take, this was my main laptop for when I would go someplace, like when I would go over to Akapuku's house back in the day. We'd play Doom and stuff and Quake 3 and this would this would be the, the computer that I would use for that. Should I make a 10 hour, like, file transfer video? So it's just like ASMR loading sounds? Because I could watch this for eternity.
it copied driver cab twice, and it sounded the same each time it copied it. Hey! I am thoroughly enjoying this. Oh god. It's gonna be so fucking loud. Take the CD out. It's because it slows down the boot process. We want to win. Oh god, it's taken off. We definitely want to win the startup war here. Oh my god, that sounded terrible. All is well again. Oh my god. Shit, what's going on? At least I can hear whether it's doing something or not. Oh, there we go. What? what? <laughs> Every time I can't context menu, it beeps. Too much fun now. Rant. Now that's gotta be from the processor or the graphics. Or, oh, the trackpad. No, well, I don't think it's on the trackpad, because if I move the mouse, you can hear it a little bit. So I think that's graphics. All we know is it makes cute sounds, and it's great. Why did I open this? Okay, very good question. Um, we need me some of this. <laughs> oh my god, so the, the problem is is now the way the camera is reacting to the different color on here is weird. But this, this is... We made it. We're here. Okay, we've got everything we need. And now we're ready to start the competition. Since we have the old footage, I'm just going to put them on screen together so that we can see both of them at the same time. And that way I can line it up precisely when the BIOS screen appears on both machines. And then we'll, it, everything will be exactly the same because it's exactly the same hardware, unless the hardware starts to fail between it now and then. So, or during. Why did I click shut down? Oh, well, shit. Okay, we're doing it from shut down then. All right, let's go. Sizzling. That's a different copying type pattern. Okay, so we made it. I have no idea if we won or not. Okay, so we can see that pretty early on, the one on the left seems to get hung up on an OS selection screen right there for about two seconds. The one on the right does not have to deal with. So it looks like there's, it's got like an even two second lead on it. However, if we give it a little bit of time here, right when it looks like it's about to be over, the one on the left, the older one, does get some unexpected ground, gets past this loading box here, and we're on the desktop just a split second before the one on the right. And I think it's because the drivers were not loaded when I did that test in the first place. And it had just slightly less to load. And then the the one with the SSD just took a little... Basically what it shows is that it's there's no difference in speed, really. It's pretty much even. Having an SSD versus an SD card in this situation doesn't mean a damn thing. I'd like to say that we did. 
because I think before it was like 30 or so seconds to boot up, and I was really surprised that, wow, I got the computer to start up that fast. Now that we actually have a real SSD in this, it's got to be faster, unless there's a hard limit of how fast it will read from a drive, but what the hardware actually allows for. And if we hit that limit with the other uh, with the SD card, it's not going to matter what we put in this afterwards. Sort of like how when I did that video about... Uh, Windows on a RAM drive, it's only Windows 98 on a RAM drive, I think that was the name of my video, and when I tried to make a Windows 98 virtual machine, it specifically limited the read speed from the virtual drive until I made a Windows 10 virtual machine and still tried to install Windows 98, then it could just blaze. There was some sort of thing holding it back on a virtual level for older hardware. I'm not saying that they're comparable to real hardware, but um, something similar here. There's a bottleneck somewhere um, I read out a lot of the specs of the Gateway 200 Arc, and uh, I was going to put them into this video as part of kind of like an investigation style. We're not going to do that this time. We're just going to keep it simple um, with what we originally set out to do um, back in the day, although we won't be watching YouTube on it, unless you want to watch some old broken footage um, that I recorded when I was watching YouTube on Lubuntu when I uh, recorded that on the floor and the carpet, and it's very uncomfortable and uh, that footage kind of sucks so I we sorted did it and in that footage I still had the computer on this exact same uh, shoebox that I somehow still have after all these years and three moves has somehow survived the 200 arc itself um, I don't know if you can tell but it's it's a little bit more beat up before it was in more of a pristine condition this one now has some stuff going on, and it's not as not as pretty as it used to be. Oh, oh well, I, I I got it like refurbished or or never used, or it's super cheap. Um, and right now my camera is telling me I have 420 minutes left that I can record. So I'm gonna say that is a good omen for ending the video on. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, Sorry it's taken so long to get a video back out. Um, I kind of had to uh, kind of had to rethink the way I was doing videos and how I approached them. And uh, there there was some there was definitely a lot of ups and downs uh, you know, emotionally trying to, to to figure out and navigate how I real really feel about my channel and how I want to go forward. And uh, we're just going to be keeping it simple and playing it by ear. Pretty much, um, no big announcements, no grandiose claims. Um, just gonna do what feels good, do what I like to do, um, and uh, if if and and I feel like I don't think there's too much of a problem with still making this kind of videos. I just can't say when they're gonna come out. So uh, right now, I'm still working on writing the script for another big project uh, that uh, hopefully will see the light of day at some point. And then uh, hopefully later in the year we might see something uh, of a musical variety coming out. So not unlike the Euro Disco video might be happening as well. But as you know, those things take some time. And uh, I'll be hopefully working on it with uh, some more vigor. Again, thanks everybody for watching. And uh, for those have, who have been paying attention uh, to the subscriber count... I do realize that we are getting somewhat close to the uh, 100k um, mark. Uh, if this video does come out by the time that hits, I want to thank everybody for uh, for subscribing and sticking with the channel over all this time. I never would have thought it would have gotten quite this far. Uh, it's pretty crazy. So, um, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.